and I just want to apologize now there is some work happening outside oh dear god okay let's try this again Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing November favorites. So these are gonna be the favorite products that I have been loving and using all throughout the month of November. So if you are interested in seeing what I've been loving, then just keep on watching. Sorry if there's like terrible glares in my glasses. Um, my contacts were bugging me, so I just, I didn't wanna put them on. There is so much noise going on outside today, so please bear with me, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys, and I wanted to film while there was still daylight because I didn't want to film it when it got dark because then we'll have weird lighting like my last video, if you guys saw, the um, Bath & Body Works candle haul. It was just a haul, so I didn't think too much of it, but the lighting in there was so weird. Does anyone else agree? So let's jump into my favorites. Let's start with the makeup products that I have been loving. I have been really big, even though I have like my Alex drawers full of makeup and my collection is just ridiculous for how much I actually use makeup on a daily basis. Like I don't need this much makeup, but what I've been doing lately, I've been really good about keeping makeup in this cute little Kate Spade lunchbox. Isn't it just adorable? I got this as a gift from the Go Wild team last year, I think, but I'm obsessed with it. I put all of my makeup, I just emptied it out, but I put all of my makeup in there and I just kind of reuse the same products over and over again. So these are the products I've been using all throughout November and they've been in my makeup bag. So um, let's start with lip products. So I'm gonna go a little out of order here, but the two lip products I have been wearing like all throughout November have been both from Too Faced and they are the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipsticks. I love the formula of these so, so much. Not as much as I love the Kylie ones. I feel like when it comes to liquid lipstick, Kylie is my favorite and I don't know why because it is more drying than all the rest, but it like, it's staying power is like no other. Like, out of all the liquid lipsticks I have in my collection, the staying power of the Kylie liquid lipsticks, it cannot be beat. But, with that being said, these are definitely a close second. They're my next favorite, followed by Pixie. I think in that order, Kylie, Too Faced, and then Pixie, the Matte Last liquid lipsticks, those are really good too. But the two shades I've been wearing, um, this one is Sellout, and this is like, I think just part of a regular line, if I'm not mistaken. And then this one, which is part of their holiday collection, it is Gingerbread Man. So I feel like this color sellout is just a little too pinky. And then Gingerbread Man is a little too red, like brownie, reddish, orangey. But when I mix them together, it's the perfect fall color for me. It's like a gingerbread nude lip that's the best way i could describe it like when i see it it's just like it's you've got that warm gingerbread feel but it's like a nude lip at the same time so that's why i mix these two together and it's been so so perfect here i'll do a little swatch so you guys can see so here is what sellout looks like i'll do it big enough so you guys can get an idea it's really pretty on its own but during this time of year there's like a very specific kind of color that I'm looking for. And I thought I'd get it just from Gingerbread Man, but this alone is a little too much for me. So, what I end up doing, let's see if this will work. I just mix them together. <laughs> that probably just looks so gross. I mix them together, maybe a little more of this one. I start with the lighter one and then I put Gingerbread Man on top and then I blend it with my finger like that. And so then I get a color that's like this and I think it's perfect. I'm not wearing it today, but all of November, November, this is what I've been wearing. So let me go wash my hand because I do not want to stain my clothes. 
Alrighty, I'm back. So those were my favorite lip products throughout the month of November. And now let's move on to eyeshadow. And it has been also from Too Faced Cosmetics. This is from their holiday collection. This is the Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette. I have been loving this. I love the browns in here. Always got to have neutrals. That's just what I wear on the daily, like when I do wear makeup. I'm not wearing any eyeshadow today, but I love the purple tones in here too. Like I've been wearing those a lot. And so um, Figgy Pudding has been a favorite. What is this called? Oh, ooh, Burn right here at the top. And then Reindeer Paws. This is like a deep, rich chocolate brown with like maybe some slight purpley undertones to it, but it's really, really pretty. And I love using that on the outer corner to just smoke up and deepen an eyeshadow look. Um, Gingerbread Man, Gingerbread Latte, Spice is Nice. Those have kind of been the colors that I've been gravitating towards the most this month. Um, and then Powdered Sugar as a highlight. So I've been loving this palette. And when I first received this in the mail, it's funny because I actually thought I would like the gingerbread extra spicy. I thought I'd like this palette so much more because it's more, I feel like more neutral. I'll show you them side by side. They are very similar, but I feel like the extra spicy just had more like warm brown tones and I thought I'd gravitate towards this more, but actually I've been using this all the time. So any eyeshadow look I wore throughout November, it was from this palette. I actually haven't been using this palette at all. So out of the two, I have to say my favorite has been the Gingerbread Spice. I just love those purple tones and all throughout the year, not just like this time of year, but all throughout the year, purple is like one of my favorites to wear on my eyes. It's so easy to wear and add a pop of color without feeling like too daring or too much. So purple is such a great eyeshadow color to play around with and I love that all throughout the year but especially this time with those like warm browns like orangey browns like it's just so perfect. This pink is kind of random and I haven't touched that. Oh warm toasty that gold color I've also been using that. I just really like this palette. I really like this palette. And you guys already know how I feel about Too Faced products. They are one of my favorite brands. I love the quality of their eyeshadows. Um, they're so easy to blend out. They're pigmented. There are some products that I've tried in the past with Too Faced where they haven't been as pigmented, but this Gingerbread Spice palette, I'm really, really happy with all the shadows that I've tried so far. So, A+. Plus. Now let's move on to cheek products that I have been loving. I've got some blushes and this is kind of like a rare moment. I don't share favorite blushes very often and it's because I don't really switch up my blushes very often. I feel like once I find a color that works for my skin tone, I just keep using it unless I'm doing a very specific like costume look or makeup tutorial. I really don't switch up my blush on a day-to-day -day basis. But these blushes I have actually been really really liking so they are from Ofer cosmetics in collaboration with madison miller and we have okay i'll show you guys the one i've been using the most which comes from this palette um i don't remember the name and it's not on this palette but um you know the little palette that came in the collection the Ofer and madison miller collection i've been using this color right here the most for my blush i really really like it and then this like kind of champagne golden highlight. I've been using a lot too. Actually, it's been like the only highlight I've been using. So I feel like these don't swatch very well, but I could try. Like, that's the blush. Yeah, the swatch is like not very impressive to be honest, but I've been really, really liking this on my cheeks and I feel like it's very, very pigmented. I only like dip my brush in there just a little bit and then the highlight is crazy pigmented. Look at that, look at that. But I've been really liking that, and again, I just take a very, very tiny bit. I feel like the products in this collection are just crazy pigmented. The other two blushes I've been loving are the other two blushes in the collection. Um, we have Sweet Stuff right here, and this has been the other one I've been using a lot. I don't know why I'm trying to swatch these because, oh, oh, that one swatched super, super well. This seems very similar to the one in the palette. I don't know if they're the exact same. They look very similar, but this one is different. I'm actually wearing it today. This is like more orangey and it's called Ollie Need Is Love. Ollie is her dog. How cute is that name? 
So you can see the difference right there with this blush. There you go. I do terrible swatches. I'm not a swatcher, okay? I just, I don't do the swatches. But I've been loving that highlight. I don't really touch the other highlight in this palette. Um, I only like this one. This one's a little more cool tone and pinky and I, that's just not really my jam. I like this more golden one over here. So I've been wearing that a lot and the blush as well as the other two blushes. So I've been really liking these a lot. If you're looking for really, really high pigmentation, like this product will not let you down. I gotta go wash my hands again. So those were the makeup products that I have been loving throughout the month of November. Let me know what your favorite makeup products have been. And now let's move on to some more random things. I have these skincare brushes from this brand called Anissa Beauty. Is that what, wait, hold on. Let me go look on Instagram real quick because I'm gonna feel stupid if I'm wrong. Oh yes, Anissa Beauty. Ooh, I got it right. Okay, so these brushes are from a brand called Anissa Beauty. They have um, skincare brushes and makeup brushes. I have um, some of their makeup brushes. I used this foundation brush today for my look. <laughs> so their skincare brushes are this like lilac soft purple and I love and then the makeup brushes are more of this deep, rich, like royal purple right here. I've used their makeup brushes a little bit, but not enough for me to like do a review or share a, a full opinion yet. I've just been playing around here and there, but their skincare brushes I have been using on the daily and I absolutely love them and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So um, the first one, this is the cleaning brush and it basically, it looks like you know, one of those um, spin brushes, Clarisonic. There's all different sorts, but this you spin manually, just with your hand, like this. I was like, oh, why Why even bother if there's like the Clarisonic and things like that? Like, why should I even bother? By the way, it comes apart, in case you were interested and you were wondering, it comes apart. But I was like, oh, I don't think, I don't think I'll, I'll like fall in love with this because there is like spin brushes and Clarisonics and I have a spin brush but I've actually been loving this so, so much. I feel like it gently just breaks up all of the makeup on my face. So I basically, I put my makeup remover on here or sometimes I'll put it on my face first. Either way, I'll start massaging my makeup remover into my skin and it's gently breaking up all the products while gently exfoliating my skin at the same time. And it's just so relaxing and I really, really like it. And I wash this brush every time, like after I'm done like rinsing off my face, I'll also rinse this brush and just let it air dry and it's good to go. But this has been so, so awesome. I just find it very relaxing to take off my makeup and then these brushes are actually for your moisturizer. So the bigger one is for your face moisturizer. So I just dip it in my moisturizer and I use the Derma E uh, like hydrating day cream and night cream. So I just open the tub, the little um, packaging if you're familiar with like Derma E products. And I just dip my brush in there and then start painting away at my face and it's just massaging the product into your skin and I really like it. I don't know why it has like a little rubber thing right in the middle. I don't know the purpose of that, but yeah, just letting you know. But I just find these so relaxing to use and so I'm just like painting and applying the moisturizer onto my skin and then we have the smaller brush for the eyes and I've been using the Glow Recipe Avocado Eye eye mask that's what I've been using so it's just a little pot and I dip my brush in there and then apply that onto my eyes and I apply it on my lips too I don't know if that's weird fun fact I use my eye creams on my lips a lot of times <laughs> so once I'm done with like applying it under my eyes I'll put it on my lips and then I'm done <laughs> weird fact about Jack Jack but if you want to like up 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 bump up what is the word what's that phrase I'm looking for if you want to up up if you want to step up your skincare routine, is that what I'm trying to say? If you want to up up your skincare routine. <laughs> if you want to enhance your skincare routine, there we go, we'll go with that. If you want to enhance your skincare routine, I definitely recommend trying out these brushes, checking them out because it just adds a whole nother level of like 
luxury and artistry to your skincare routine. I feel like I'm doing my makeup when I'm applying the moisturizers and creams and stuff on my face and it's just so relaxing, so luxurious and I don't have to like dip my fingers in all of my lotions and potions that I have for skincare. So these have been a really, really awesome addition to my skincare routine. And lastly, oh, I wanna share with you this big old book right here. This right here is the Life Devotional by Andrew Farland, is that his name? I think Andrew Farland. Look, I got a signed copy. So basically, Andrew reached out to me and wanted to send me his life devotional that he had been working on that um, just recently launched, I think last month, I wanna say and they had a whole kickstarter campaign i'll leave that link below if you guys are interested but this is a daily devotional and i love how big it is it's like coffee table size book and i just i honestly i just leave it open like this on my coffee table so that way every day i can read and it's basically so devotional is like there's a verse of the day right you have a verse of the day but then there's a little like um written passage or note from the author based on that verse so let me just read you today's what is the date today so today that i'm filming this it's the 10th and the title says encounter god so i'm just going to read this for you guys real quick a lot of us go to the bible out of obligation we read it so we can check it off our spiral to-do list come on you know you've done it before the interesting thing is that when i read the bible regularly out of out of obligation, I find myself spiritually depleted. I find myself feeling disconnected from the God who wrote his word in the first place. Full disclosure, I haven't read my Bible in five days and, I'm st and I've started wondering, why don't I feel spiritually depleted? Why am I not dry? The truth is that I feel full of the spirit. I feel like I'm living the abundant life that Jesus promised his followers in John 10, 10. The only answer I can come up with is that I've been praying consistently and honestly to God. There are some decisions I have to make in my personal and professional life that require me to go to God with radical candor. As a result, though I haven't opened my Bible, I feel like my relationship with God is strong and even better than ever. Here's the deal. The lesson to be found in this is that religious activity will not get you any closer to God unless it brings you into a meaningful heart level encounter with God. I've been more disciplined at other times in my life and have been more distant from the source from the source of contentment. That means it's not the discipline itself that fills us. It is God who fills us when we approach him, not out of obligation, but out of a desire for an open, authentic relationship with him. So don't go into your Bible looking to check it off your list today. Don't go into prayer thinking you have to fulfill your obligation. If you approach the Bible and prayer that way, you have been fooled into thinking that God's presence is available through religion without relationship. God will fill you in different ways in different seasons. The more you seek to encounter him, to build your authentic relationship with him, the more you will discover what that looks like for you. The key in this conversation that's key in this conversation. Only you know what you and God need to get to to get you closer to each other. Religion will would tell you exactly what that is. Relationship allows you to take the, your cues from God. And that's exactly where I want to be. I pray you do too. And then at the bottom, it has today's verse of the day. So it comes from Psalms 51, 16. It says, going through the motions doesn't please you. A flawless performance is nothing to you. Ooh, that was so good. And so that's, that's all it is. So what did that take? Like maybe five minutes to read? So, it's just this little daily encouragement for you not to replace your time in the Bible, not to replace your time reading God's word, but just that little encouragement that you need to get through the day and you have a verse of the day that you can look on to. And I also just think like the pictures in here, like not all pages have pictures, but like each month starts like that. And like there's just beautiful illustration all throughout here. What does that say? September. I think it's just like such a beautiful like coffee table book, but also the devotional itself. Like it's just so encouraging and I love what I've been reading. So um, I'm trying to show you, but I'm not really doing it justice because this book is like 
too heavy for me to hold. But hopefully by me reading you guys today's devotional, that gave you um, kind of a little glimpse of what to expect in this devotional. But if you guys are interested, I will leave that linked below for you guys, um, their Kickstarter page. If you wanna order one for yourself, it is a big book. But it has a page for every day, a year's worth of just motivation, encouragement, and just life being spoken to you. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check out the link below. But that is all I have for my November favorites. I don't have a favorite YouTuber of the month. I've been watching a bunch of different people, but there's not one in particular, at least for the month of November that I was like kind of stuck on. We're moving into December now, so I guess this would make more sense to talk about in my December favorites, but right now I'm loving all of the Vlogmas videos going up. I love, I love this time of year. Everyone's doing Vlogmas. I think it's so fun and festive. I have been loving Charmaine, Charmaine Dulac. I love her Vlogmas videos and seeing what she's up to. I definitely need to go to like uh, TJ Maxx or Home Goods so I can find some Ray Dunn goodies because of Charmaine. Thank you, Charmaine. I've also been loving Megan's vlog, well, hers is vlog Sember, not Vlogmas, vlog Sember. Um, I think her vlog channel is La Vida de Meg or something like that. You know, Ciao Bella, right? Um, I've been loving her videos and she's pregnant right now, so that's just so exciting to watch. And who others, who else's Vlogmas videos do I love? Alicia Marie, she is an OG. I just love her intros. She goes above and beyond. And who else have I been watching lately? I don't know, there's just so many. I just love that everyone is doing Vlogmas and I love those kind of videos. So who has been your favorite? You better say Jack Jack Vlogs. I'm just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. But I am doing Vlogmas as well if you guys want to stay connected and stay up to date with what's happening. Um, I'll leave my vlog channel linked in the cards for you guys. But yeah, I'm doing Vlogmas as well. But no, for real, let me know who have you been watching this season for Vlogmas. Um, always looking for new people to watch. That's always so much fun. So let me know who you have been loving and what your favorite products have been for the month of November, whether it's beauty, food, um, lifestyle, fashion, whatever it is, let me know what your favorites have been and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. How will I do this? This, oh my God, can we switch? That's very heavy. My God, this book is so heavy. This book is so heavy. Ah, ah. Okay, I dropped one thing. Can't pick it up. Sorry, you've now become a lost cause. I cannot with this book. It's too freaking heavy, man. I can't. I cannot hold it like that. That was hurting my fingers. Ugh. Ah. 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 How do I make this look cute? Ah, I'm dropping it all. Oh God, push up the glasses. Ugh. I got a cramp. Oh, I got a cramp from posing like that. Please let there be a good thumbnail in there. I suck at this.